Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Neha and you're watching In Me Australia. So in few of my previous videos, I've talked about the differences between houses in India versus houses in Australia. And one of the differences that I talked about was that in houses in Australia, most probably you will find a dishwasher. So now you know what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about dishwashers today in my video. So what are dishwashers? What are the pros and cons of having a dishwasher? I will show you my dishwasher and explain its features, what you can versus what you can't put inside a dishwasher and finally my opinion whether you should invest in a dishwasher or not. So let's get started with today's video. If I have to explain it to you straightforward, it's like the washing machine for your dishes. So like in a washing machine, you put your dirty laundry and it comes out clean and dry. Similarly, in a dishwasher, you put your dirty dishes and it comes out clean and dry. Now it's very, very popular in Western countries. Uh, if I talk about Australia, it's quite common, but it's slowly creeping into the Indian market these days. And I remember clearly last week, my mother-in-law went to an electronic shop to buy something for herself. And she told me that she saw a dishwasher and she was sounding quite excited about it. With COVID happening and a lot of our house helps not coming to our houses, washing dishes is a big task. I acknowledge that. And she was actually asking me if she should invest in a dishwasher or not. She's seen our dishwasher um, while on video calls, but the dishwasher that she saw in India was much smaller. So she wanted to know whether she should invest in it or not. And that is when I got the idea to make this video. So as I said, it's very common in Australia. In most of the houses, you will find it attached already. So when people build their houses, they invest in a good quality, heavy duty dishwasher. And we also have one in our current uh, unit. We also had a dishwasher in our previous apartment. Now that we know what a dishwasher is, let's talk about some of the advantages of having a dishwasher. First one is very straightforward. It saves your time and energy. At the end of the day, when you're so tired, you don't want to do the dishes. Just put it inside the dishwasher and it will come out clean and dry. So that's one of the advantage. It saves your time. It saves your physical energy. It helps you organize your life. And the last one is that it helps to kill the germs which might be present on our dishes. Now, why is that? It is because the dishwasher heats the dishes at a very high temperature to dry it up. And in that process, it kills a lot of germs and bacteria. So when there are pros, there are cons as well. Let's talk about the cons of having a dishwasher. So dishwashers are expensive appliances. So in the beginning, when you are planning to buy a dishwasher, you might have to spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars to get a good heavy duty dishwasher. The next one is that it consumes a lot of electrical energy. So your electricity bill might be high due to excessive use of dishwasher. The third one is that if you are a single person, you're not married, you don't have kids, you don't have family living with you, dishwashers are not really the appliance for you because you will use two to three dishes in a day and hand washing them would be a better option as compared to putting them in the dishwasher and running them for a full cycle, which will consume a lot of water and a lot of electricity. And the last one is that you might still have some dishes or utensils that are not compatible uh, to the dishwasher or they're so greasy that the dishwasher might not even clean them. So ultimately you will have to hand clean them. So these are the cons of having a dishwasher. There are some pros, there are some cons, you need to weigh it up. Now let's have a look at the dishwasher that I own. So actually I don't own it. I'm, I live in a rented apartment and this came with the apartment. It was already um, attached in the kitchen. So I'll show you how it works, where does the dishwasher tablet goes, how do we clean our dishwasher and where do we put our plates and uh, cutleries and glasses and everything else. So come with me. Okay, before we go and actually see how my dishwasher looks like, let me know in the comment section which utensil or which pot or pan or kadhai or bartan you think is difficult to wash in a dishwasher and then I will let you know whether it was a hit for me or whether it was a miss for me while washing it in the dishwasher. All right guys this is my dishwasher it's a really old dishwasher because this is a old uh, rented property it's from Blanco and it has some modes it will tell you what stage it is at. This is the start and stop button and this is like the power button. So you can open the dishwasher like this. It's all empty because I have uh, washed my dishes last night. So it's all empty. It has two trays. 
The bottom one has these spikes, as you can see. So you can put your plates here. It comes out like this. You put your plates here. You put your cutleries here. Push it inside. And the top one is for your pots and pans. And these spikes are to place your glasses. It's on both the sides. And also here, you can put your pots and pans again. Or maybe your plates. I use it for my pots and pans because my plates is really fit in the first row. And you can see there's a blade over there. I don't know if you can see it. This is the blade. So make sure nothing obstructs this because the water comes out of pressure and this moves to move the water um, inside the dishwasher. All right. Now this is on the door and here this goes like this. This is where you put your dishwasher tablet and you close this up and then you close your dishwasher, switch it on and it cleans your dishes. So now you can see our fully packed dishwasher as you can make out. There are a lot of dishes, pots and pans, our pressure cooker in the dishwasher. On the top shelf, we have all our bowls and cups. They have fitted quite nicely. We have overloaded it actually. We have a few plates here. And we have some pots and pans at the back. So this is how our dishwasher tablet looks like. It has some liquid as well as a tablet inside it. We use the Finnish dishwasher tablets. You can use any. There are a lot of options available in the market. This completely dissolves in the dishwasher so you don't have anything left. And yep, yeah, it does its job pretty good. So I really like it. Now that you have had a look at the dishwasher that I own, let's understand what you can versus what you can't put in a dishwasher. Also guys, please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram ID is right now on the screen. These days I've been making a lot of realistic reels about life in Australia. I'm sure you would love watching it. So do follow me on Instagram. Let's start by talking about the things that you can put in a dishwasher. So the first one is ceramic baking dishes or ceramic pots or ceramic plates. Any of those can be put inside a dishwasher. The next one is stainless steel utensils. So if you have stainless steel karhai or if you have plates like I have, I have a lot of stainless steel uh, plates and katoris. So it's a big yay for me because they get easily cleaned in a dishwasher. You can also put plastic plates and boxes if they are marked as dishwasher safe. And then you can also put your glassware, so your cups and your glasses. Or if you have glass pots, you can put them inside a dishwasher. Now let's talk about the things that you shouldn't put inside a dishwasher. The first one is blenders or your mixer grinders. The blades usually go really dull and blunt if you put them inside a dishwasher. So anything that is sharp, for example, knives, uh, blenders, don't put them inside a dishwasher. The next category is aluminium utensils, cast iron pans, pressure cooker lids, copper, silver, bronze utensil, and your non-stick pans. The reason why non-stick pans are not allowed is because non-stick pans usually lose their non-stick coating if you wash them regularly in a dishwasher. All right, now that you have seen my dishwasher, we have talked about the advantages versus the disadvantages of owning a dishwasher and what you can versus what you can't put in a dishwasher. Let's hear my opinion whether you should own a dishwasher or not. It's all about experimenting, to be very honest. There have been times when I put a kadhai or a pot inside the dishwasher in which I've cooked a lot of curry and it had a lot of curry stains and it comes out really clean. Other times, it just comes out really dirty and in the morning, I have to clean it all again. It's about taking that chance. 70% of the times, the dishwasher does the job perfectly. 30% of the times, it doesn't. I am willing to take that risk and I would suggest you should take that risk as well. So a dishwasher is a yay from my side for sure. If you're planning to move to Australia, if you're planning to shift your house inside Australia, please try to find a house which already has a dishwasher in the kitchen. Honestly, it will help you a lot because at the end of the day, as I said, you don't want to do the dishes and this little appliance, not little actually, will be a blessing. So yes, a dishwasher is a yay from my side. If you're in India, if you feel that the cost is in proportion to the amount of utensils it can wash, you should invest in a dishwasher. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you got some idea about a dishwasher. 
which is still a mystery to my parents. Anyways, it does the job and I really like my dishwasher at least. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section. But that's it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, give it a big fat thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!